So currently we are just over three weeks before the current outlaw pass, outlaw pass number five runs out on May 31st. And there's always speculation when the next update comes. Hopefully the pass butts up right against this next one. Whether it's going to be, you know, a trader expansion. You know, a lot of people have seen those because there have been leaks about liveries and stuff that's in the game. We don't really ever know. Hopefully a new role because expansions, that's kind of an in-between thing. But right now we really need a good update, a new role, something like that. I'm actually, I don't even care. I don't even really want a new role. I just want some new content in the game. So we're looking at at least a little bit over three weeks, like I was saying, until this one's currently out. And hopefully we don't have to wait long after that. But I have a little information I want to share with you guys about some stuff that's going to be possibly coming up in the game. More than likely, since it's coding and stuff that was added just back when the Bounty Hunter expansion came out, which wasn't really that long ago. And uh, yeah, we're going to be ready to take a look at it real quick. So as we jump into this, if you're a longtime viewer, go ahead and just give the video a like. It helps it out with YouTube, pushes it out to more people. If this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. If you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Online, go ahead and hit the sub button and bell notification. So let me just jump into it real quick, what I want to share with you today. So apparently we're going to possibly have survival modes in Red Dead Online. If you ever played GTA Online, you know about it. The different waves of different enemies come after you. This could be really cool if they could have different waves like over in Lemoyne, like if there's a map, you have night folk or s just something cool like that would be awesome. I don't really care what it is. New content would be great, but the survival modes, I really enjoyed them on GTA Online. A lot of people did too as well. It's actually a pretty decent way to make money. I know Red Dead Online doesn't really need that. The whole economy is kind of screwed up, but definitely it would help the game. So once again, as always, we're going to go over and check out Tez 2. He shared the coding and stuff, so I want to share it with you guys. This came out just with the Bounty Hunter expansion just a few months back. And here it is. This is what is actually in the game right now. So if you kind of just look at this coding, you can see where it says versus protect up here at the top. And then if you go down a little bit, it says waves completed. And then if we go down a little bit more, it talks about, you know, character stat online data. And then times a player completed a wave of enemies. And then down at the bottom, it just talks about wave mode. So this is all coding and stuff that's been put in there. It hasn't been in there before, and there's nothing else that's currently in the game that lines up with any of this. Also, there's some coding for celebration screens. It talks about, you know, PVE winners, PVE losers, version one, version one for both of those. And then also there's a versus protect. Not sure what that is. Maybe you kind of go against other teams, maybe other posses. And, you know, it says it's a similar case that was in the versus uh, showdown modes and stuff. So more than likely what Tez is saying, it's been in development for a while at least. So that's kind of encouraging some extra kind of content that's just not stuck to roles. Roles have their places, but I'm almost kind of burnt out on roles already. You know, getting expansions to roles and just roles, roles, roles. I'm tired of hearing about roles. I don't know about you guys. Some other kind of content like this is what I enjoy. And it is PvE because I know a lot of people don't like PvP and there might be an option for PvP in this the way it looks. I'm not 100% sure. Also, to let you guys know, Take-Two Interactive is going to have their quarter four earnings conference call. Normally, of course, they always talk about how great the games are doing. Of course, we're going to hear about how great GTA Online is doing. They always, they always do that. But usually they have it in the past, but hopefully this time they talk about some kind of a mini roadmap on Red Dead Online. They have done this before the naturalist role. A lot of people didn't like it too much when they talked about the naturalist role because of the way it was described and it kind of lined up with the way they described it too but i think honestly the naturalist role got a lot of hate because we waited for so long for an update and it wasn't really lining up what we thought the game was going it's not that it's a horrible role it just we went for so long without anything and that's what we ended up with so there'll be a link in the description of the video if you want to go check that out it's going to be a conference call you can just click on the link and join in if you want to listen to it but if you don't, I'm going to put a video out if there's anything good that comes of it anyway. So guys, there you go. There hasn't been much going on with Red Dead Online. Rockstar is always quiet. They'll probably always stay quiet. And we'll have to wait for these little tidbits here and there and stuff to get some information. So like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, if you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online, hit the sub button and bell notification. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.